What if I told you that the way we monitor and address the climate crisis uh, might be outdated and inadequate? Uh, our current climate models relying on, on decades-old technology offers fail uh, to provide the local, real-time, and comprehensive data uh, we need. Uh, but what if there was a new path forward, uh, one that leverages emerging technologies like Web3 uh, and decentralized networks? In the past, climate models were limited by computing power and incomplete scientific understanding. These models, while capturing overall global warming trends, struggled with inaccurate predictions, lack of observational air data, and coarse spatial grids that couldn't resolve regional details. Today, obtaining critical information like air quality, noise levels, and light pollution remains challenging, especially in densely populated areas. Enter Web3 and decentralized networks. These technologies offer a new approach built on transparency, community ownership, and aligned incentives. They can drive the creation of dedicated infrastructure for bottom-up or climate solutions. Uh, so how does Web3 empower environmental monitoring at scale? The ethos of Web3 is centered on decentralization, uh, giving power back to individuals and communities. It's about uh, breaking free from relying solely on uh, centralized approaches uh, and enabling uh, direct participation in systems that impact our lives. Uh, and uh, for the climate fight, uh, Web3 offers a way to democratize environmental monitoring, creating a more transparent uh, record and incentive structure for collecting critical data it provides the tools for his citizens to take climate action in their own communities. This decentralized approach contrasts with current centralized models where data collection and decision making are often far removed from impacted communities. Lead 3 empowers local citizens to take ownership of environmental influences to their future, assistance energy into their community's creation. And with the limit sentencing for the system, investors developing a separate data, creating a tamper proof publicly accessible record of imagine a world where community owned sensors provide hyperlocal data on air pollution noise levels and light pollution uh, this data transparency can inform better climate policy and create new accountability with web3 people can earn tokens to generate high quality environmental data or measurably reduce their carbon footprint realizing this vision of a web3 powered climate response won't be easy it will require overcoming challenges around data quality, governance, and accessibility, as well as bridging the gap between the Web3 and environmental communities. But the potential to create a more agile, inclusive, empowered, and impactful approach to the climate crisis is immense. And with that said, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. And remember, the next time you see a climate model, it might just be a community member with a sensor making a difference